right here. Look! Uh, which is a, a composition, but it was. The one gram samples were primary high explosives. Uh, in the van, we use C4. Yeah, the, obviously we've been busier than normal. We've done different types of cases. Petrol bombs, TATP, are not the normal in Hong Kong. Nothing alike. Um, but it's it's not to the point where we're we've gone beyond our capabilities yet. We always look ahead, but there's, there's I hope that when history rewrites this, that there's that there's a review of that. Um, I, I watched the officers day after day, night after night, month after month, going out um, and holding the line. Um, their families under threat, with them being attacked with knives, with explosives, with petrol bombs, and they hold the line and use remarkable self-control in the face of incredible violence. I, I would probably refer to the, to the hardcore more as anarchists. Um, that 99% of the protesters in Hong Kong, from what I've seen, are are peaceful. You know, when you start to look at Poly U or CU or whatever, there's clearly though a small hardcore who are dedicated towards violence. It's how heavy is it, Andy? from a block of C4, which is just under 600 grams. Again, it varies week to week at the moment. We're dealing with a lot of dealers with like the pencil so it's normally coming from that color. Okay, so that's that sort of kept it busy. You can speak to a large number of people in Hong Kong who stand absolutely behind the Hong Kong police force. If you speak to someone who's taking part in a protest, yes, they're unlikely to be saying anything particularly favourable to us. They, um, but there's a huge number of people in Hong Kong who support this force. 